in a great big world. <laughs> right, Betty? Good morning from Hopalong Hollow. This is Jerry and our new duck that we took in from very bad circumstances to live here in Hopalong Hollow. And I asked you if you would give me some names for him and I was rewarded with over a thousand names for this little duck, which is pretty amazing. They were all great names, but we had a difficult choice in choosing one name for one little duck. But when we saw one particular name, it just hit him immediately. We decided that he, we would call him and his name is, ta-da, Alfalfa. Alfalfa, I think Captain Alfalfa would do the trick, but the Alfalfa, remember the character from way back, there was a television series back in the 1930s, I think it was, they were movies called Little Rascals, and one of the characters had slicked back black hair, but he always had a cowlick sticking straight out from the back of his head, and his name was Alfalfa, and Alfalfa also could carry a tune, oh, a very squeaky tune, but this little guy does the same thing. Every time he sees me, he does a little, sort of a little dance, and he makes a funny little whistling noise, sort of like a nice little ducky tune. But Alfalfa is the name, and I think perhaps maybe even Captain Alfalfa. Do you like Captain Alfalfa? Because you are a rather tough guy. There, you see, he's even going after the roost, the, ch the hens now. I don't know. <laughs> he's very antisocial. <laughs> Turns out this funny wing is called angel wing. You, uh, many of you, brought that to my attention, so I looked it up. It is a sort of a birth defect. It's most common in geese. They can have it on both sides. Fortunately, it doesn't really affect their life, their swimming, or their flying. In the case of a wild goose. It's just rather odd looking. It could have been fixed when he was a duckling, but I didn't have him when he was a duckling, so he's pretty much stuck with that for the rest of his hopefully long, long life. Eventually, I'm pretty sure, give him a little time he will get used to things around here he will make his way down to the creek and he'll make his way to the pond and he'll be he'll have at least one buddy but having lived alone by himself in a little pen for over a year well that might have an effect on a little a little guy and he's just not quite sure about all these wide open spaces in fact i think he finds it a little bit overwhelming husband and I chose alfalfa because we thought it fit him the very best, but I added a little captain to the front of it just to give him a little more respect and because I think he is a rather take charge kind of a fellow. The winning entry is going to get one of my storybooks and that would be Marianne Dobrowolski. Marianne Dobrowolski. Marianne, please, um, my email is down below. If you would just send me an email with your shipping address, I will send you a copy of Hop Along Jack and the Blue Bunnies. So Marianne, you will find my email address in the description beneath this video. And if you'll just send me your shipping address, I will send you a signed copy of Hop Along Jack and the Blue Bunnies. This was one of my first books. It's really an everybody book. So no matter what your age, Marianne, you will enjoy this. And there were so many great names. I mean, thank you, all of you. I would like to go through and name, rename some of my other ducks because some of the names were just so, so great. But I, there were two honorable mentions that went beyond the call of duty as far as suggesting a name. 
and they not only suggested names, but they also wrote a little something to go along with their suggestion. And I want to send them a book as well. I mean, there were so many great names. I just had a really difficult time choosing one that fit his personality as well as a name that was, you know, pretty quick and easy to remember. And I really have a temptation to go out and rename several of my other animals simply because the names, some of the names were just so much fun. Going beyond the call of duty and merely suggesting a name, I want to give another prize to two other people who not only suggested a name, but also wrote a little story to go along with their names. So, for Trisha Brink and Gothic Sugar. I want to send a copy of Pippity Trimble and the Cunning Green Stranger. Trisha Brink writes this, I would humbly like to submit the name Mr. Plucky Duckington, Esquire. Hailing from a, shall we say, lower end of town, this new gentleman about the hollow struts his handsome stuff for the ladies, all the while trying to conceal his almost obvious differences. He is sure to win the hearts and minds of his fellow farm friends as he maneuvers his way through the hierarchy of the hollow. Stay tuned for what Mr. Duckington commits himself to next. Hilarity, charm, and mayhem are sure to ensue when <laughs> Plucky Duckington is at hand. <laughs> we wish him all the best at Hoplong Hollow. Bravo! <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> and from Gothic Sugar, here we have this. Mr. Curly Q. Wigglewing and Mr. Terry Campbell. So she suggested two names. I love both of them. Mr. Wigglewing prefers to be called Major Wigglewing, as he served time as a prisoner of circumstance during the War of Duckington against the pen closures. Despite being very young, he plucked up his courage, pun intended, and endured the hardships of confinement. After his time, he left the land of the pen closures, and instead of going back to Duckington, a home he remembered fondly yet barely knew, he found himself in Hopalong Hollow, where he found he was able to serve as defender of the protégé. <laughs> and Mr. Terence Campbell, on the other hand, is a rogue full of spunk who terrorizes the dogs, not out of malice, but because he is such a ladies' man that he can't help being overly protective. The hens can't help cackling at his antics to draw the attention of the lady ducks, but are happy to take their place as the objects of his protection in the meantime. They've taken to nicknaming him Terry because of his overly protective and somewhat territorial nature. <laughs> Very good, ladies. Thank you so much for your wonderful imaginations. So we'll be sending out three books. And please send me your email. Uh, send me your postal address and following the email down below in the description. All right. Thank you all so much for participating. This was really fun for us to read all these names that you had. And by the way, these were the wonderful... Uh, Paper whites, they bloomed a lot sooner than I thought that we put in these antique finds about 10 days ago. And you'll see down here our hyacinths that are starting to sprout in these hyacinth glasses. So we'll be doing another val uh, Valentine video very soon in the next couple days, as a matter of fact. So this is a really short one. But thank you all for your participation. It was absolutely a delight. We'll see you in a few days here in Hopalong Hollow. Bye.